In 1939, a young graduate student from the University of Chicago set out for Hudson Bay on a scientific expedition. He had grown up sailing schooners on Lake Michigan and collecting arrowheads near his home in Grand Rapids. Now, canoeing along the banks of eastern Hudson Bay, he felt as if he had stepped back in time. This trip made a lasting impression on him, and the archaeology of the American fur trade remained one of his passions. This man, George I. Quimby, returned to the United States and embarked on a career that would make him one of the pioneers of North American archaeology. George I. Quimby was born in Grand Rapids, Michigan in 1913. While a teenager, George spent three summers sailing on a wooden schooner. He was accepted to the University of Michigan and completed a BA in 1936 and an MA the following year. During the late 1930s, Quimby participated in a number of excavations and expeditions where he met the professors and students who formed the core of the emerging discipline of American archaeology. He then became a Works Progress Administration Archaeological Field Director. While excavating prehistoric and early historic sites, Quimby recognized that European trade goods could be used for dating archaeological deposits. While working with the WPA Archaeological Survey, he met Helen Marjorie Zeem, then an art student majoring in sculpture, and they were married in 1940. In 1942, the Quimby's moved to Chicago, where George joined the staff of the Field Museum of Natural History. His books on archaeology established Quimby as the preeminent authority on the archaeology of the northern Midwest. In 1965, he accepted an appointment as full professor of anthropology at the University of Washington. He was soon named director of the Burke Museum in 1968. Quimby reorganized and modernized the museum into a first-class institution. He also lent his assistance and encouragement to the Maka Nation in their efforts to create a museum of tribal heritage. He took a keen interest in ethnographic film and collaborated on the award-winning restoration of photographer Edward Curtis's 1914 silent classic In the Land of the War Canoes. In addition to his scholarly output, Quimby served the Society for American Archaeology as its secretary and president. In 1992, Grand Valley State University recognized Quimby's numerous contributions by awarding him an honorary doctorate of humane letters. George Irving Quimby passed away on February 17, 2003 in Seattle, Washington. The Quimby family established a memorial fund in honor of George and Helen to assist deserving students. And since that time, numerous undergraduates have benefited from this scholarship. The Quimby Anthropology Laboratory Endowment Fund has also been instrumental in building and maintaining vital infrastructure used by faculty and students alike. Grand Valley State University is proud to share the legacy of this pioneer to the past.